Well, good evening, ladies, philosophers, and lazos, and welcome to the Click You Smell. Amazing today, especially you, Skyler. My God, Skyler, is that a Skyler? Skyler's smell, I'm smelling, Skyler. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Anyway, today we're gonna look at r slash facepalm, which is a beautiful place where we can sit at home and just like revel in our own slothiness and just laugh at other people being silly and feel superior because that's what we do on this beautiful channel. Enjoy. Mwah. And remember to subscribe to the channel because YouTube randomly unsubscribes people. That's really sad and like we're kind of close to a million. It's, it's kind of, I'm, I'm like freaking out a little bit, but it's pretty cool. So <laughs> yeah, baby. Hey, that's my face. Better help online counseling and therapy. Why? Why is this in my meme folder? Why is this the freeze frame? Uh, YouTube, are you trying to say that my videos are mentally harmful? I mean, kind of. Yeah. Disclaimer: That's a joke. Don't give me a strike for mentally endangering content. Thank you. Error. This password is already used by Star Boy ninety eight. <laughs> Try another. Star Boy ninety eight. What? Wait, see, everyone on the platform needs to have a unique password. And if you type someone else's password, they just say that you know someone else's password and they give you the account it's linked to. Are you for real? Hacking used to be impressive. Now it's not so much. Where are you from? I am from Brazil. Brazil does not speak English. Yes, but humans can learn more than one language. <laughs> like when, when the 13 year olds on Twitter tell you that learning a different language is like racism or something. <laughs> Newsflash, the norm in most parts of the world is to speak like two different languages at least. Gosh damn. God kväll mina damer och herrar. Dagens video är stolt sponsrad av... Uh, vänta lite. Okej, okay, men då skuttar vi till Berlin då. Guten Abend meine Damen und Herren. Heutes video sind... Ah, uh, warte bitte. Oh nein, das geht nicht. Oh my god, today's video is proudly sponsored by NordVPN. You can switch your virtual location to anywhere in the world just as easy as I just demonstrated. So if you want to make the most of your streaming services and view any show from any country anywhere in the world, or simply utilize YouTube without those pesky country blockers, or simply just have an extra layer of security on your online browsing, NordVPN is for you. Amazing speed. My god, it goes so fast. And one single subscription can be utilized for six devices. My god, and it works on like freaking everything. And now you're thinking, but click that sounds so risky what if i buy it and i don't like it well generic click viewer now you can put your mind at ease there is a 30 day money back guarantee for your subscription so what exactly are you waiting for go to nordvpn.com slash the click or follow the link in the description for your special offer oh that is right go to nordvpn.com slash the click get all the features today it's gonna be so freaking amazing oh my god <clears throat> sorry i'm getting way too excited thank you so much nordvpn for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel and now Back to the memes. Mwah. McDonald's loses EU trademark battle over the Big Mac Burger. <laughs> McDonald's loses EU trademark battle over the Big Mac. Burger King starts trolling them. Not Big Macs, but Big Mac-ish, but flame grilled. <laughs> of course. The full story. There is an Irish restaurant chain called Supermax that had opened around a hundred stores in Ireland since 1978. Recently, McDonald's decided this small restaurant chain that hasn't even made it out of Ireland needed to be taught a lesson and sue them on the basis of that Supermax infringes on the Big Mac brand name, which, of course, absolutely ridiculous. McDonald's ended up losing the case because, of course they did, they didn't have a case to begin with. As a result, McDonald's lost the right to the term Big Mac across the entire European Union which is why Burger King gets to do this with no legal repercussions. <laughs> Wait, really? Can I start like a second channel that's just called Thicky Clicky Big Mac? Oh my god. Clicky Thicky cooking channel coming up soon. Every single episode would just be Swedish meatballs called the Big Round Mac. In high school, I went to a sleepover and this girl I liked climbed into bed with me and she started tickling me and I was like, ha ha ha. Okay, well, time for bed. And I think about that twice every five minutes. Yeah, I've had this happen a couple of times back in my youthful days in my youth when it was stuff like, oh my god, I'm like, I'm like so cold. I'm like, here's a blanket. <laughs> was talking to a girl and asked her what she did for fun. She said, working at my jaw. And then I went to talk about video games. <laughs> what kind of games are we talking, dude? <laughs> oh, yes. 
I have all the gaiam. Mm-hmm. Uh, parents, kids are more the pros these days, I wonder why. Kid, you destroyed the economy for us, the earth is literally dying. We're going to work until we die, and on top of that, the Nutsis are back. Uh, parents, it's those pesky iPhones. Uh, it's all your fault. You are why prices are going up on houses. Uh, I, I looked at, like, houses in, in an area that, that looked really nice, and, and the prices are like, how? And then I realized that I know a single person my age who's like a homeowner. Man, if, if houses costed what they did 30 years ago, like even accounting for inflation, Oh my god, man. The dream. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do y'all remember before the internet that people thought the cause of stupidity was the lack of access to information? Yeah, uh, turns out it wasn't that. Yeah, I think the best way someone put this is that back in the day, information access was a difficult thing. You know, before people could read or write properly. Then, after a while, as the internet came along, the problem wasn't the quantity of information or how accessible it is. It was the quality of the information and, like, the fact-checkiness of it. So, it isn't a problem of not having the information available, it's more an issue of how do you actually filter through it? How do you determine what is BS? How do you determine what's actually good information? And of course, this is something that we try to teach our kids in school, like source critique and that kind of stuff, but it's really difficult because there isn't a magic formula to it. You can apply similar things like the scientific method to it to a certain extent, or, you know, not have confirmation bias, but like asking humans in general to not have a confirmation bias is, I don't know, going against a crappy part of our nature. <laughs> It's wild. A Texas newspaper published an essay saying humans and dinosaurs live together. That would have been amazing! That's because they did! You should actually pay attention to that Bible you're always criticizing. Okay, first off, they don't talk about dinosaurs in the Bible. Secondly, the Bible isn't a good source for- The Bible was written before we had ever found the first dinosaur bones. Like, god, god freaking damn it! You can make the argument that, you know, religious texts, for example, can operate as a search for, like, meaning, or, you know, help in certain situations or metaphorical scenarios. Because, let's be honest, people have been thinking about, you know, the meaning of things and morality of stuff since a very long time, and, uh, you know, taking some of that to heart isn't, isn't always a bad thing. But going to the Bible for, like, scientific takes on dinosaurs <laughs> is, pr is probably a bit of a no-no. <laughs> Luca Blor chained himself to a McDonald's in Russia, protesting against the departure of McDonald's. I mean, I can kind of vibe with the with the incentive. I would be really upset if my government did something as stupid to make all the business leave my country. Like, oh my god. But at the same time, like, it's not gonna change anything. Like, if the employees have already left, like, what's what's gonna happen? You're just you're just sitting by a door. If you think your English is good, I challenge you to write any word that starts with a T and ends with a T. T. <laughs> Freak! Ah, it's really a challenging question to sink your teeth into. <gasps> Here's video! Oh my god! Okay, so, this door is locked. And you have to have a key card to unlock this door, right? It's very secure. Or, you can just put, like, you know, uh, your finger through the bar and just like, Yeah, security. When you don't pay the workers enough and just like, eh, whatever, it's fine. I understand times are hard, but doesn't a president of the hashtag Ukraine own a suit? Uh, what? I don't have much respect for the current members of the US Congress either, but I still wouldn't address them wearing a t-shirt. I wouldn't want to disrespect the institution or the United States. That's, that's, that's your first thought? My god. If anything, I think it's kind of nice. Like, we don't need to adhere to dress codes that don't do anything. Have you ever been to an office where you have a dress code with a full suit in the middle of summer where it's, like, really hot and you're just sweating anyway? It's pointless! Like, I'm sitting here, professionally, of course, in my professional studio with my professional online work. I'm not even wearing socks right now because I think it's too warm with the studio lights. Maybe that shouldn't be the norm in, like, a regular office, but, like, you get my point. <laughs> Maybe this shouldn't be the main priority. Uh, this guy came into my thrift store and asked if we wash our clothes before putting them out. And I said we don't. And he went straight to the underwear and swimwear section and started to sniff them. He's just quality assurance agent guy undercover to make sure that the store is hygienic. <laughs> Magic Mike grossed 167 million. If you still think girls like dad bods, keep dreaming, pal. Shrek grossed 484 million, just so we're clear. Shrek is love. Shrek is life. My 14-year-old daughter was selected by her peers to present her oratorial essay on the stigma of periods in the high school. But the administration doesn't think my daughter should present because the topic is inappropriate. <laughs> 
Oh my god. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Where it's like the reason we don't allow this particular girl for talking is the exact reason why she should talk about it. Don't you see that you're just being a silly little boo-boo brain? Circle tunes. Oh man, I freaking love their animations. Someone just told me on my own Instagram page to give credit to the maker of the videos. My videos. Give credit to me. Me is the video maker man. I freaking love this. <laughs> I had this happen on my TikTok page too. Check out my TikTok for more garbage content. But I had this happen on my TikTok too when someone was like, you should link to like Click's channel to give him credit. And I'm like, I, I am the Click guy. I don't want to link to him. It's weird. Musky Husky. I hereby challenge uh, to single combat. Stakes are... Uh, I hereby challenge Putini Wootini to single combat. Stakes are... Oh, come on. I mean, he did a lot of good stuff with the Starlink things and that kind of stuff, but uh, to be honest, Twitter is already a cesspool. I'm not expecting anything more, to be honest. So apparently, I need to clarify this for so many of you, but I know that I am not Jesus Christ. I'm white. <laughs> That was a twist I was not expecting, my god. I was expecting it to be like, well, yes, I, I, duh. You're like arguing with someone that isn't arguing back, but like, god damn, oh. Name a fish that does not have the letter A in it. I bet you can't. Dolphin. <laughs> I swear dolphins are fish and bats are birds and rabbits are wolves. I don't know what's more stupid. People who think the earth is flat or people who refuse to vaccinate their kids and risk their children's health because they believe it causes autism. How stupid was I then when I vaccinated and it caused problems that killed my daughter? Where on the stupidity scale would you put me? At 10, considering your daughter was 34 years old and died of an asthma attack from the asthma that runs in your family. <laughs> it's like, it's like those news where it says, this person had a vaccine yesterday and now they're dead. It's like, oh my god, how did that happen? They got hit by a truck. Politics. Herschel Walker, skeptical of evolution. Okay, so skeptical of evolution and politics in the same sentence is gonna be freaking gold, man. Why are there still apes? Think about it. The former NLF player, who is now running for Senate in Georgia, gets some basic facts wrong. <laughs> okay. When we say that something evolved from a monkey, it's that we have a common ancestor. It's not that, you know, a couple of monkeys out in the woods just randomly gave birth to a human and hippity hoppity. That's not how it works. Common ancestry. Look at the evolutionary tree. It's fascinating. If a duty only increases in the sass vein, it's used by different men. The muscles keep expanding and contracting till they get loose. But if you sleep with one man, it doesn't do so. Because <laughs> it's used to one pee, pee and it knows its size. Source, I have layeth with many a woman. Trust me, please. I need this. At the Ukraine slash Poland border, tired women and children leaving their country. They're being pestered by American preachers telling them they all need to accept Jesus as their savior and their lives will be better. Receiving a lot of eye rolls in response. Oh my god. <laughs> if you just let Jesus enter you, like in a sexual way, y your life will be much better. Because then you can sue Jesus for child support or something. I don't know, I took this in a very weird direction, which is equally weird to what these people are doing. A woman on American Airlines plane duct taped her receipt for trying to open the door mid-flight. Uh, the air in here is a bit stuffy. I'm just gonna, you know, like when you ride the car and you like open the window in a bit and you can be like, wee, and have your hair running with the wind like a quirky girl. <sighs> that will be so me, but they duct tape me because they're oppressors. Cheese grater that makes potato chips and perfectly distributes meat barbecue sauce. Yeah, I don't think that's real. <laughs> Wait, so first you have the potatoes and just the mismatch and then it turns into perfect chips that are like roasted and fried and then have a small amount of dip on top of them or spice or whatever. <laughs> you know what this would look like if this was real? It would just be a big brown mush. Like the whole cutty thing isn't even the shape <laughs> of the freaking of the freaking chips. <laughs> like you didn't even try, man. Ah, oh, look at the kisses, my gay ass heart. How and why are they showing this to kids? They have always shown kissing in cartoons. Mwah, mwah. That's the man and the woman. Those are rats. <laughs> this is offensive. Those are mice. I was shocked when I was watching Disenchantment, both because the devil character, because everyone is tagging me on Twitter telling me I look like the devil character. Uh, thank you very much. I very much appreciate it. But also like when, when, when Bean gets together with, with like hot mermaid girl and it's like, uh, what? Oh my god. I'm here for all the spice. Do not date women over 22 years old. Even if me myself, I'm like an old man, I should still... 
All right, this is weird. Let's see what they, what kind of amazing takes they have. Don't date them if they're not model material. I'm assuming whoever wrote this is not model material. Not to mention that attractiveness is incredibly subjective. Don't date them if they weigh more than 120 pounds. What? Don't date them if they don't cook. Don't date them if they don't clean. Don't date them if they don't wear French tips. Don't date them if they have hair under shoulder length. Don't date them if they don't have big pussy flaps that poke up, beat up. Jesus Christ. Don't date them if they don't wear fast fashion. Don't date them if they don't have abs thigh gap. Don't date them if they don't only speak long language. Don't date them if they're under five nine. Don't date them if they don't wake you up with a coffee in the morning. Don't date them if they have a job or a university degree. Don't date them if they don't have a positive relationship with their father. Don't date them if they can't produce verses or hymns. I can't. I'm not a good girl. I can't. No. Don't date them if they don't don't age and proctor la perlas. Don't date them if they don't have shade their legs. They should be naturally hairless and extremely fair. <laughs> they should be naturally hairless. So you don't you don't even have like the preference that. Oh, they should always slude or shave themselves and be smooth for me. It's more like, oh my god, they shouldn't even have to shave if they do, they gross. <sighs> do you know what, do you know what puberty is? I'm not sure if I want to ask that question. Don't date them if they have any body hair on the eyebrows at all. Don't, don't. Mm -hmm. and don't date them if they couldn't oh up hurt them. Don't date them if they dress in vulgar manner. Don't date them if they don't remain silent unless instructed, otherwise we're given permission to speak freely. I think... What you're looking for is like one of those currently being developed uh, naughty dolls that also knows how to cook. Uh, is that a thing? I don't know, but that sounds about right of what you're looking for. At least they don't grow hair, which seems to be like the biggest crime against humanity in your opinion. Uh, I have no clue on what a sieve is. This dude. Aha, uh -huh, the whole bowl. <laughs> <laughs> the pasta demoistifier. Here's a long video. The wrong food. Yeah. And you've eaten it. Yeah. I take it. But yeah, yeah, I've eaten it, but... Yes, but yeah. the manager's asking me to come outside and get you to pay for the food that actually you weren't supposed to have. But but it's not my problem you've given me someone else's food. But what we're, do what we're asking you for is, because we gave you the wrong order, and we uh, have messed up, we're just asking I mean. you if you can come inside and just pay for the food that we gave you. Wait, so, but so I've you... already paid for my food. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. But what I'm saying is, obviously we gave you extra food, which obviously But that's not my problem though, like, like, like hold on a minute. Wait, wait a second, so you so you either, I don't know, cooked the wrong order or gave him the wrong food and then you want him to pay for it because you messed up the restaurant order, what? This is your problem, stop. <laughs> and I mean, the amount of times I have missed something in my order at McDonald's, like they miss a fry or when you know you order multiple menus or there is a drink missing, like I think, I think McDonald's owes me a solid 30 bucks and like missed burgers and stuff over the years, so... I don't think it's as fair that it's only in this direction. No, stop. Can Italian, Spanish, and French people understand each other? These are three different languages. What? American and English and Australian are different language too. They still understand each other. <laughs> oh crap! I'm like octlingual according to this. This is amazing. I mean, to be fair, some words in like Italian and Spanish are similar. They're both Latin-based languages, but but it's not like if you speak Spanish, you can just speak Italian. Like. <laughs> Similar things are true, for example, in the Nordic countries. As a Swedish person, I understand a fair bit of Norwegian, because the languages are relatively similar, and some of the words are just comedically switched. They're like synonyms, you know? It's kind of funny. But uh, in general, no. No, stop. <laughs> Kim Kardashian yelling, Get off your butt and work! To the Indonesian children putting together her makeup kits. Kimmy Wimmy, what are you doing? Like, bad takes all around, man. Like, if, if, for example, if I would be give this the benefit of the doubt and they came out with, you know, words of wisdom, like how to manage, you know, media attention, or how to deal with, you know, the the constant backlash or the, or the spotlight that comes with being a public figure, I would probably, you know, be more inclined to listen to that because it's something they probably know and have done for a long time. Knowing how to grind your work when you are in a completely different and privileged position is like, fam... Come on. No. One star. Kicked us out before we even ate. We arrived at 8.20 and took forever to get our food. Not to mention the service was very rude. The waiter told us to never come back. I feel you omitted some parts of the story, so I'll clarify. We explained our last seating slash last call. We explained our closing time. Your party had been over here multiple times before. You always over-order meats and we end up trashing it. Even after last call, you kept ordering more meats, as you always do. We dropped off your check at 9.20, which is a reasonable time because we close at 9.30. You asked if you could take 20 plates of meat plus veggies plus leftover soup with you because we close at 9.30. We are an AYCE restaurant. We do not offer any takeout. You proceeded to get angry with our closing time, which we explained before we seated you, and you demanded we stay open late just for you. you 
joined your party badmouthed our servers in Chinese, assuming we wouldn't understand. We feel we acted appropriately towards you and your party. We are different from other restaurants. We respect our servers, and we expect our customers to do the same. To the person writing this review for the party that acted disrespectfully, you can feel free to contact our restaurant to discuss the matter further. As for the party that was here, you are not welcome anymore. Oh, little bit of a group of Karens, do we? Oh my god, how quirky. Nothing says good life priorities quite like harassing businesses over review sites. National Enquirer, World War just weeks of a nuclear apocalypse over Ukraine. Why crazed can back down a bomb targets in your state exposed. Five steps you must take now. This is like... <laughs> And they say clickbait is unique to the internet. <laughs> this kind of garbage have existed for such a long time. I still remember when I think it was many years ago. I was like a child. And it was new, a news article in Sweden in my local store, I remember. That was something along the lines of, The Swedish princess has been kidnapped. And I was like, what? That sounds very strange. Turns out, this was the Swedish princess getting kidnapped by her friends for a bachelorette party before she was getting married. Yeah, <laughs> not misleading at all. This mask is useless. My dad didn't serve this country for me to wear a mask. This entrepreneur makes anti-mask masks for anti-maskers. <laughs> Wait, so, so, so they're either not gonna wear the mask or they're gonna wear the mask saying it doesn't work. Like, okay, if you just put on the mask and you wanna have the mask say it doesn't work, that's fine, you're still wearing a mask. This is so, like, this is a triple directional oxymoron. It's amazing. A new gen Xbox console will be priced lower than a vial of insulin that keeps me alive for a week. $299 versus $324. Imagine having to buy an Xbox every week for the rest of your life just to survive. This is my America. This sounds like a really good sales pitch. I would like to do that, you know, go to a store or something like that and just kind of stage something. In, in the in the storehouse and just pile up a bunch of Xbox and be like, this is how many Xbox it takes for me to survive for a year. And you have like 50, I, I guess closer to like 60 Xboxes just piled on top of each other. God damn, that's such a weird system, man. This is Igor. Every morning Igor goes for stroll through the nearby forest. Today, Igor found Russian Army 9K330 Tour SAM system abandoned in forest. Now Igor owns 20 million SAM system. Congratulations, Igor. Uh, someone please update Wikipedia page current operators of Tor missile systems. Igor with his new toy goes between Greece and Iran. <laughs> Here you go, <laughs> Igor from Ukraine. <laughs> One system. <laughs> I saw that, um, I saw that eBay article with, uh, with the T-72 tank for sale. It was like 400,000 grand, you know? I wonder how much the shipping is, though. That's probably the, the tricky part, but like, damn. Could I do it as a write-off if I, like, feature it in videos? <laughs> no word starts with O and ends with O. Orange! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Golf putter. Hoy, is this still for sale? Hi, yes, I still have it. Are you interested? Yes, mate. Where can you make me? I am the Ace Killbridge. If you come and pick it up, you can have it for 20. I have been offered 20 for it already, but you message first. Let me know either way. Cheers. All right, you mate, gonna mate some geyser for new putter. Why don't you come with me and we'll just do a minute and take it off him, lol? Uh, sorry, this was made for my pal. But, but it's not about you. Uh, where do you live? <laughs> and yes, that is how British peeps sound. Don't at me. If someone held a gun to my head and told me to subtract 9 from 21, tell my family I love them. You are the first person to ever misspell a... Uh. <laughs> Yeah, it's not, it's not only the math that is the issue, is it? I love how basically every study says that students do better in school with less homework and later start times, and workers do better with more vacation days and shorter shifts. But we do the exact opposite in this godforsaken country, because purantical feelings apparently beat the defects. Fucked before feeling. <laughs> Which would actually be a valid argument in this case, but like, goddamn. It's true, though. Like, having fewer hours, but more efficient, is so much better. Like, gosh darn. That was one of the things I always dreaded about office work when they started counting hours. It was like, but you only worked for, like, an average of 7 hours 50 minutes for the past week. And it's like, well, my numbers are through the roof. I did a very good job and finished all my tasks. But you have to sit here and roll your thumbs for another 10. Like, why? Reading that Gwyneth Paltrow's clean beauty regime means she starts every day with a refreshing glass of alkyne water plus a spritz of lemon. Which makes the alkyne water no longer alkyne. <laughs> It highlights the magnificent level of BS that people will swallow from celebrities. This is amazing. So take alkyne water, 
Make it not alkyne. And there you go. Taking care of sick, young, unvaxxed patient. Hanging antibiotics and giving other meds. RN. Why are you so against getting COVID vax? Patient. We just don't know what's in it. I just gave you about five different meds and you never asked once what they were or what was in them. Yeah, that's so weird, right? It only applies to that. They never make a deal about what's in their painkillers or what's in all the other pills they like chug down like it's freaking candy. But no, it's specifically the vaccine. God damn. If they wanted to spread microchips in people, I, th I think like spreading them in painkillers would be more efficient than a vaccine. Just gonna be honest. It would even be feasible to hide like a, like a tracer inside a pill compared to a vaccine. Did I like, did I start a new uh, conspiracy theory? Whoops. As an employer, why shouldn't I be able to hire teens for free? Mmm, let's find out together. What the frick else are they going to do during the summer months? Me hiring them for free, and maybe me receiving like a stipend from the government for doing so, <laughs> means that I'm keeping teens off the streets and getting paid for having three workers. Keeps the crime rate down and prevents drug addiction in the future. Frick this shite. These kids are also getting experience. I am freaking educating them out of my own own pocket, apart from the fact that it's free labor and you want to get paid from the government for doing so. Yes, I was fine today for not paying my staff a wage and I freaking pissed. Wait, you are pissed. <laughs> oh my God. Can I get free labor, claim that I'm saving them from like a life of crime and at the same time get paid from the government for doing so? <sighs> so what, what are the kids going to like buy food for? Hmm? It's like, you know, <laughs> I'll buy my food with experience. Thank you very much. It's like the runes in Elden Ring. It's just, you know, it's experience or money or like just, you know, upgrade weapons with just universal currency. So good. We are seeing preventable mass deaths in the United States. Do you support Medicare for all right now? I don't know why you're tweeting this like some sort of gotcha, but I am a co-sponsor of the bill. Ah, oh, my Twitter politics is just a, a wild west, isn't it? Yahoo! Yahoo! Answers. Am I older than my older sister? Quotation marks. She is born in 1992, and I was born in 1998. Am I older than her or not? Since my year I was born is bigger, but hers is longer. I am a girl, if that helps. <laughs> Ah, I love myself some gendered math. Starts playing on phone during a show. Misses important scene. Rewinds way too far by mistake. Gets back on phone while waiting for the scene. Misses the scene again. Oh my god, that's like so me. I have a big prayer request. My husband and mother-in-law have my oldest daughter with them at their house. They got her four vaccines today without asking me. I am anti-vaccines. Please pray she will be okay. Sad emoji. Have your kids always been okay after vaccine shots? I am so sorry to hear that your daughter has greatly reduced chance of both dying from preventable diseases and has now joined the rest of humanity in protecting the lives of those that can't be immunized for those diseases. It is a tragic day for all of us. Okay. Yeah, a lot of work. But it's <laughs> you don't have the right size even. Oh my god. When they just improvise, I'm like, hey, can you look busy? Just stand and screw on this random thing, you know? This thing is already attached and complete and we don't have the tools here to do anything with it, but... Just look busy when you lie on your resume, but you still get the job. <laughs> Why can't I find a guy like this? <laughs> hey. No. I am literally the guy in the pic. <laughs> I love this meme format. It's, it's so funny. Hmm. Come to Turkey. Meet with me. Turkey supports the Rusha. I am from Ukraine. Turkey supports the... <laughs> Gotta play all your cards. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I just misspelled it the first time. I am dyslexative. Bloomberg opinion. Inflation stings most if you earn less than 300k. Here's how to deal. Take the bus. Don't buy in bulk. What do you mean don't buy in bulk? That's usually cheaper. Try lentils instead of meat. Nobody said this would be fun. <laughs> yeah, you hear that? You, this economy sucks. Just get good. Getting up in the dark. Going to school in the dark sucks much more than darkness at cocktail hour. Go an hour later, kids will have one less hour learning about slavery, anal naughties, and hating America. Good takes on Twitter all day around today. So here we have even more stuff from Twitter. You can't just buy a person, but adopting kids is fine. Y yes? What? Did you- <laughs> Are you trying to make the point that these are the same? Is that- Is that the point here? What? So let me get this straight. Literally purchasing a person in, in, into slavery with the intention of working them to the bone without even having proper human rights is the same as being adopted into a loving family if you don't happen to have parents of your own. But it's basically slavery because the parents are gay. How is this an argument? Is this an argument? Remember when we treated the flu with tea soup and saltines instead of communism? 
I don't even understand what you're arguing against, if I'm gonna be honest. I went to a diner with my girlfriend and was told it was 20 minute wait. After only a few minutes, a couple walked in and was seated right away. I complained and left right away. I don't tolerate BS and I don't tolerate people who think I should care when they do. Do you know what a reservation is? <laughs> Life is very hard. Isn't Peter Parker supposed to be a teenager? Why is this like a middle-aged man? Maybe because, I don't know, people have a tendency to age over 20 years? What a... what a... little fact of the day. Why is school so gosh darn hard? Can we go back to the days when women weren't allowed to get an education? <laughs> Please delete this tweet! Don't tell me what to do! There are women in the world who still aren't able to get an education, so yes, delete the tweet. Good thing they won't be able to see this tweet because they can't read! Oh my god, this... This freaking chain! Oh dear god! Dreamt is the only word in the English language that ends with MT. What about encamped? Read it again. But slowly. They were supposed to spell stop war. I raw pots. Oh, they did the wrong way, like stop war. And an exclamation mark. Raw pot sounds pretty cool though. Con? Yay! Manager at the chum buckets. <laughs> Hello, this is Kanye West, the real one. Can you send me a hundred bucks? I need a bit. If you do, you can meet Travis Scott. He's with me. Hello, this is Travis. <laughs> I also like how they couldn't even like get the get the full name right. First name Khan, last name Yek. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't do a tra vice. <laughs> a guy ordering dessert on a date is a red flag for me. That's a female thing to do for real. Fellas, is it gay to eat cake? It's a red flag for me. For me. If a guy is on a date with a woman, the woman should be the only one asking for appetizers and dessert. Men eat meals. Like, seriously. You can't just taste some of whatever I ordered. What is with people online? And like these weird, overly toxic dating standard about like the most specifically weird, mundane stuff. Like, ah, uh, a, a dessert. Why do you even care? I buy one item from CVS and this is the length of the receipt. A little bit of money off, a little bit of money off, a little bit of money. This is like the length of the receipt when I have been to Ikea and bought like a buttload of stuff. This is weird. Any woman that I want to marry must, first of all, stay with my mom for six months or a year so my mom can train her and let her know how to take care of me. Mm, yes, indeed, when we say mommy in my household, it's not something kinky. It's just to change diapers. Red tag sale. Sales price 129. Original price 88. <laughs> you save minus 41. <laughs> I'm kind of impressed the system can manage negative numbers, but like, they didn't even bother marking the price up before the sale to, you know, like, fake the sale. They just, they just faked the sale right away, didn't even bother with the middle step. Man, the effort is high today. My eight-year-old daughter met a girl at summer camp last year named Internet. I said, no way, that can't be her name, but my daughter has been adamant. For almost a year, we've been having the discussion. Antionette! I just found out her name is Antionette. Ah, basically Internet. Uh, let's see now. The sissy boy syndrome and the development of homosexuality. Why is this book so thick? <laughs> what do you- How do you fill out a book that thick with something so short and stupid? <laughs> Must have a lot of good pictures, if you know what I mean. Mm. Start for cafe? Start for cafe? <laughs> I love the, the translation that's only like the difference between the uh, but it can be confusing. Because in Sweden we have very strange letters like uh. <clears throat> that's actually how it's pronounced though. What do you want to do? I'd like to buy a vowel. Mm -hmm. O. There is an O, yeah. Anything else? Oh, uh, it's obviously rampaging like a panda boat. boat. Okay. Renting a paddle boat. No, that is not. Ah, it's so, so, so close, but so panda. Getting the cash Mooney. I have no idea how this game works. There are two E's. Uh-huh. No like, do they make money for getting the letters right? Yeah. Or do you only get it for the final boat. words? No, that's not no, right. They already said paddle boat! Oh. <laughs> oh. Michelle, you have $3,000. You can spin again, but you don't have to. Okay, you got this, Michelle. Uh. 600. What letter do you want? M. No. Crystal. Pedum. the spin. <laughs> W? Uh, pet no, dev boat? Sean, what do you want to do? I like to solve. Go ahead. <laughs> Renting a pedal boat. Yeah, Thank there you, you. go. Pedal. Gah. A pedal. Gah, freaking off. Oh. Gah. Gah. Well, that is lasses and lassos. That was it for this beautiful video. I do hope you enjoyed it. And I do hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And I will see you again in the very near future. Take care. Mwah.